I'm showing y'all everything. So here we are. Hey, is this team? Uh. to wake up early today and that did not happen good thing i did my hair yesterday so that it's laid down and it looks decent right now because i'm going to my doctor appointment with my surgeon i have appointments my scalp is so dry i have appointments every month because of my scar treatment that i'm doing and i did a video where i talked about my post-op updates as of now that's a six month post-op video although i'm at month seven but you get it <laughs> so i go once a month for my scar treatment because my scars have keloided in plenty of areas and it's really going down and actually is working which is nice i also get my laser done tomorrow i need it my face is i'm gonna get it on my sideburns when it comes to my face i do my full body i'm gonna shave to either today or tomorrow though because you gotta have a fresh shave when you go because you want the hair to be cut down i can't nair or wax while doing laser because you still need the hair to be in the follicle i don't exactly know why but that's what i'm supposed to do so i'm going to shave my body and also my face later or tomorrow yeah i wanted to get up earlier today honestly i was on the roll to doing that i did get up earlier today i got up at four actually it was 3 45 and i read a chapter of my book healing the soul of a woman and i did my devotional i wrote in my journal i watched a, a grace for purpose video it was in my ear and i fell asleep so i was up early i was productive that does make me happy but i wasn't able to stay up because i wanted to get up and work out and i couldn't do that go through these like water because this stuff is just so good i have it on my subscribe and save through amazon and we still blow through them so i increased the frequency of the deliveries so now i believe i have it on every two weeks two packs every two weeks a two pack every two weeks because we just be killing these things this is so good and when you brush twice a day you're gonna blow through your stuff you know your toothpaste or whatever and you really should be brushing twice a day and flossing twice a day Now, you know, I'm a firm believer of showering and smelling good because that's just important. But especially when I have a doctor appointment, I don't want to be smelling like bed. All right, fresh out of the shower, my face has got sprinkles of water on it because it just happens. I didn't wash my face because I need in the morning. I don't want to rehydrate. I don't need to wash anything off. I did rinse my eyes, however. So this is the Siluoxu First Care Activating Serum. Good hydration for the body. And I haven't done my body hair. We'll get to that after this. And we need vitamin C in the morning. This is butter skin vitamin C. Vitamin C lightens dark spots. It's an antioxidant, great for the skin. Works, works very well with SPF, which you apply in the morning. Take note of how I'm applying this on my neck and chest. Do not forget my eye cream, honey, because yes, we are gonna put on eye cream in the morning. This is Paula's Choice C5 Booster Eye Cream, right on the ring fingers. And normally right now, I go in with a moisturizer, but I feel so hydrated that I'm not gonna use a moisturizer. I'm just going to use this Super Goop Daily Dose Ceramide Boost and SPF. Like I said, normally moisturizer, yes. This is gonna have my face on shine, shine, and that's okay. I love that look. Neck and chest, get all of that. I'm still using this Balcornium Advanced Scar Treatment Silicone Gel. Is this a gel? Yeah, that my doctor recommended. So I'm gonna put this on, lotion up, and come back. This beige your floor joint, off the chain. Baccarat Rouge inspired, or at least it smells like it. Fantastic. Lumi Whole Body Deodorant Toasted Coconut. I enjoy this. I have been thoroughly enjoying these sports bras from Amazon. This one right here is new. Ooh, how cute. It 
appears in my necklace, but it's so cute. This is a size medium. And it has the, the in, is the insert tan? Come on, people. The insert is tan. All right. That's not my favorite. But I do need, is this, a too, is this too small? Oh my God. La Tafa camera. Come on. Let me that. You cannot tell me that one's not good. I love these because they're loose and comfortable. And then you make it sexy when you cinch up the waist, you heard me? Okay, so change of plans. By step. I want to thank you for being a part of the Think Media Podcast community. I was going to Starbucks to then go to my appointment, and the doctor called and said that the F five FU injections that I was getting are in low demand, so they're very expensive. So they, I wouldn't be able to go in to get the procedure because they didn't have it. So they buy the syringes, or yeah, I guess the syringes or the whatever, and then they inject it to me, but they didn't have any, and then they don't plan on buying any more because they the price has gone up because they're in high demand. I don't know, maybe low stock, high demand. Turns out what she was saying is that the scars can revise as time goes. So they can go down by them, excuse me, the keloids. They can go down by themselves. They can be completely down. Let's say I never had a keloid and then it could be a year, two, three, God knows when later. And then all of a sudden I have keloids. So it just depends. And of course, I'm not going to get five FU injections for the rest of my life. So it's going to be one of those things that I just have to deal with. And this is the thing after the surgery, it's just these reality checks that need to be, we need to be, uh, we need to be cognizant that it's possible that everything's not going to be exactly perfect. And I went into this realistically anyway, and I'm okay because I look at the bigger picture and I look and feel way better than I did before. And who else is seeing my keloids, right? My keloids are not going to be on public display. I do use the nipple, I'm, I'm touching myself. I do use the nippies, nipple covers, whenever I wear stuff where you, first of all, you can see my nipple, but then secondly, in addition to the nipple, you can see the areola has a keloid on it. The keloids in general have gone down and my prayer is that they just continue to go down and they don't get worse and then they just go away, but it'll take time. So I'll just continue to monitor them. At this point, I don't have any more weekly, I don't have any more monthly appointments, but of course she did say that I can contact her if I have any questions, concerns, what have you. But as of now, I'm discharged, I guess, if you want to say, meaning that I don't have any more follow-up appointments and it is month seven. So we're all, can you believe can you believe that almost a year ago I had this surgery? Insane. So yeah, girl, I came back and I've been just working, cleaning, just doing my usual while I was listening slash watching a podcast. I'm about to film right now because I'm already ready. I didn't, so no workout today, which, although I wish I did work out, but since I'm already showered, skincare done, edges laid down, I'm gonna take this opportunity to film several videos and I need to do some editing as well. And then we gonna go from there, you feel me? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Crazy, cause I said to her, I had gotten so used to coming in and now I don't need to go in unless something crazy happens. She mentioned if I had a dog ear, for instance, and that could be a revision and thank God I don't have that. I watched a video yesterday of a creator who came to Texas, had a different surgeon, and she mentioned feeling like she had a dog ear. When she showed it though, I didn't, I'm not a doctor, I didn't feel like it was a dog ear. Like, I felt like I had one, but it has gone down, you see. As the months go by, it goes down, because where the incision is cut goes as far around as your skin is hanging. So I had the dog ear before the surgery. So this side of my incision goes way, more back is it this side i gotta remember one of the sides goes way back more than the other and that's because it wasn't equal where my skin was where i had the apron it wasn't equal so she had to go further back on one side and i felt like what in the world and then i had the skin that just looked wrinkly but it has been smoothing over it's seven months i know that at the year that's when everything will really settle down the swelling all of, all of the of the full nine yards so yeah girl we just here, we just here, you feel me? I'm here at my command station. I got this Fenty Beauty Blemish Defita. <laughs> Defita. Defita. And I'll give this a try. I can't do it now because I have my laser appointment tomorrow. I leaned in close because I want to show you my, my blemishes. I have my laser appointment tomorrow, so I can't be, I can't have used, that's not proper English, but you feel me. I can't have used, so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me switch it up. It's important to be sure that Close to my appointment, I haven't used any retinol, 
exfoliating products, okay? I was gonna say, I can't have used this product so close to my appointment. That's not, that's not proper English. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use this today of the, but sometime next week, because of course, after the laser, you, you shouldn't go right into exfoliating either. You gotta give it a few days. So after that, hopefully this should be gone by then anyway. But you know, after that, then I'll give this a try. You apply it onto targeted spots. Uh, it has to be on dry skin. Let it dry completely before you apply your moisturizer and or makeup. Okay, so this will go as a first step and then serum, vitamin C, which is usually a serum or, or an oil, and then moisturizer, and then your SPF. So, cool, 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 oh. Good morning, good morning once again. It is the next day. I know we're in the same rope, but here we are. I'm going to shave my face and shave my body before my laser hair removal appointment. I'm using micellar water today because I don't want to necessarily wash my face in the mornings. Look at my face, okay? I sleep on my cheeks, partially. The middle of my face is still oily a little bit, but you know, it's dry. So I don't need to actually use a soap to wash my face. You can use my filler cleansing water to wash your face. That's why it's called a cleansing water. <laughs> do I do that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. As my baseline, absolutely not. You feel me? But it is something you can do if let's say you are physically disabled for a period of time this is something you could put next to your bed and do you can do it all over the eyes all that i already rinsed my eyes but you can you can certainly use it but i like to actually get a cleansing balm and then a cleanser and wash my face each day but this morning I'm just doing this because in the mornings I normally don't cleanse my face but I need to clear off as much as I can from my face before I shave it and if I were to wash it it would just leave me feeling way too dry all right so there's an option for you in the morning time if you want to do that and if you don't wear makeup you could do this in the evening time too but why not just wash your face mm, that's you this is this is for sensitive skin has no uh, has no alcohol. Okay, I feel like it's an oily residue on my hands. Removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. I should use this for my uh, for my eyes. Oh, there's an oil in here. I don't remember I saw the water having a little bit of oil left over. I don't use this often, but this one has oil in it. Okay, well, I don't feel dry. I'll tell you that. I don't feel dry. All right, I'm just gonna shave this face so I can go shower. I'm using a tweezer man razor. I have different kinds of razors. This is sharp. You can change out the blade each time. Now I do get my sideburns lasered and that's why I mean I need to shave my face because it's time to shave my face but if I wasn't going to shave my entire face today I would need to do my sideburns since let me take this robe off of this hair. My sideburns do get lasered so that area does need to be shaved. So we're just going to do the whole face. And I do it over the sink because as you can see, the hair just falls right down. Granted, people do this with oil, oil shaving. I don't. I just do it dry like this. So the hair just goes flying. <laughs> but if I did it with oil, it would just all be stuck here. And then I would wipe it onto a paper towel in front of me. So there's that. And if you're new, I've been doing this for years. And I love how smooth my skin feels and looks with or without makeup. This is all Vela's hair, aka peach fuzz, and it will not grow back thicker. There's no way that it can.
are you doing? I don't do my nose, although there is a little bit of peach fuzz there. I've done it before, but it's not an area that I do all the time. I always shave my brows because I do them differently with makeup on. When it comes to the hairline, I do it in this haphazard motion because I don't want to look like I got a lineup, you feel me? Because <laughs> it can give that vibe. I'm not careful. I do this once a month. Some people do this uh, once every two weeks or something. My hair don't go like that. So once a month is just good for me. I have hair all over my eyelashes right now. All right, I'm gonna wash. And then if I'm here and I feel like I missed a spot, I keep these razors on hand, so I just shave that spot. If in a day or so, I'm like, what? I just shave that spot. all this hair and of course I'm gonna wash my face so I didn't want my face to be too dry while I did this but yes I'm gonna use a face wash to wash my face now I'm not gonna just wipe this and go sit down gross there are too many little hair too many little hairs all over my face they gotta go and that's it, it takes like five minutes because I go fast, because I always do this. If you've never done it, take your time, please. bartender would use that gun the the i almost said moose the was it not foam steaming hey is it steam smoke uh-huh the smoke gun whenever the bartender would use that it was so annoying my breast be itchy i told you that everything is just be everything be itchy because of the decisions okay here we go praise the lord i'm doing laundry today as you can see the cleaning company comes soon i'm going to work out home so that i'm not having to worry about driving back to get here in time and when they come they're here for a few hours I've been employing the cleaning company for almost a year now. Hmm. Maybe a year now. 
over a year now. I don't know. Once a month, a year now. And it's just fen phenomenal. There are just things I'm, I'm willing to do. And it just makes life easier. At first, I was like, you know, how am I going to pay for that? Like, how? Like, what? And then I was like, mm -mm, this makes the most sense. Why suffer? Why? You know, I do the basics. Like, I do the things to maintain. But then when they come, they do all the other stuff. They do that and the other stuff. So they do all of it in totality. So it's, it's fantastic. They'll be here soon. And sometimes it's two people and sometimes it's three. Either way, they get it done. And they do the garage too. All that dust, cobwebs, what? <laughs> Girl, no. I maintain, like I said, but I'm not, I'm not here to kill myself and suffer. And then can you believe that for the first time in God knows how many years, I rotated the bed, rotated the, the mattress? Hmm. It feels like a whole, it feels like a whole new world. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I just don't know. I wasn't paying attention enough to do it. Let me show you today's outfit. This is Amazon, Obvi. I have my belly button plug still in because I'm still healing, so I still need to keep this in. When I don't have it in, because I had taken it out and I was reminded at my last appointment to make sure I keep it, oh, two seconds, last moment, two months ago to keep it in, my belly button was starting to close. So if you see belly buttons that are closed like this, it's because they're, they were or are in their healing phase post-op and they're not wearing the belly button plug and their tummy is closing. Your belly button is not supposed to be a line. It's supposed to be a circle. You feel me? There are different sizes and I like this size, whatever, like, you know, that's cool for me. So I have this belly button plug to make sure that it doesn't close in, especially when I'm wearing tight pants like this or body suits. Even when I don't wear that though, Let's say, my belly, let's say the belly button plug falls out at night when I'm sleeping. When I get up, it'll easily be closed in. You feel me? So it just needs to be in at all times. I take it out every now and then, but for the most part, I keep it in. Praise the Lord. And I like this cropped sweatshirt situation. <laughs> Is it giving camel toe? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get these varicose veins taken care of because they're getting worse. The pressure from my legs and then the swelling and the pressure from the surgery made them exacerbated it more than it was before. So I'm going to take care of that and I'll take y'all on that journey. This side is the worst. This side is the absolute worst. And I'm told that it's hereditary. Whatever. <laughs> workouts don't be really hit for nothing but no that was a challenge for me i am tired but i'm glad i pushed myself to do it i've been using sydney cummings for years years when i was back in the office that was three years ago i've been using sydney cummings it's easy because she's she's chill she's motivating she's fun her workouts are a work out and a half i was sweating that was so good i changed my mat because I have this lightweight mat that I was going to actually put in my suitcase because when I was in, where, Jamaica, they didn't have any floor mats and I found myself on the floor doing workouts. So I bought this lightweight mat thinking, oh, I'll put this in my suitcase and I'll use this when I travel whenever I go somewhere and then there's no mat for me to use. Well, <laughs> my suitcase is just way too full and I haven't brought it. So I said, let me use it here today. And I used it. That thing is flat. It's lightweight and thin. So... It was way too flat. I'm like, what am I doing with this thing? It's too flat. I need cushion on my tailbone and my back. But I'm glad I did the workout. I am tired right now. My cleaning company will be here soon. So I'm trying to think like, I don't want to shower and then they're here. 
I'm waiting for them to come because depending on where they start in the house, then I'll know where I can be. Because I like to be opposite of where they are so that they have space. So if they, because they'll come and they might say, we'll start with the with the owner's suite or, you know, because we don't call the master bedroom the master anymore because what it really means is slave master. So that's no longer a thing. If you watch Selling Sunset, you would have noticed it. They now call it the owner's suite. It's not a master's bedroom. We're not slave masters around here. And I never even realized that until recently. So yeah, uh, if they start off with the owner's suite, then obviously I'm not going to do my shower. But if they start off on the other side of the house, then I can start and do my shower and then I'll do my makeup and I can do all those things. It takes them maybe two and a half, sometimes three hours, depending on how many of them come. So yeah, they should be here soon. I want, I want to go to sleep. Working, yo, if working, out, if working out gives you energy, come in and let me know. It does not give me energy. I be sleepy, yo. I mean, I'm freaking tired already, so that doesn't help, but it's not like it wakes me up. No, I'm just more tired. The hell? <laughs> I just want to go to sleep right now. And I can. Like, I, I have the leeway to go to sleep. And believe it or not, I was looking at my YouTube calendar yesterday and my iPad. And I'll show you some more of how I use my iPad. And I'm like, yo, I have videos to fill September. I have videos to fill September, which is wild. So I'm going to be putting extra videos in during the weeks. I'm working on getting more caught up. So I'll be putting extra videos in during the weeks to get more, just get them out. Because, you know, <laughs> if I really am on my A game, I can have mad videos done each week. So just to, the idea of filming a video now that you're not going to see until October just makes me sick. So I'll be doing some extra videos. Right now my goal is three videos a week, one vlog, and then two, two other types of videos. Tuesday. So my, my hmm, when I'm on my game, my uploading schedule is Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. There's always something to talk about, always some products to review. And that's what gives me so many video ideas. So uh, that's why I said I have uh, my my October is my August. Wait, what, are you, what are you now? My September calendar is already full, you know, with content that is ready to be posted. But I'll just be giving you all extra because why not? We gotta get that set out there. Like the Get Ready with Me from when I went out with with the other day. I have that. It's a full Get Ready with Me. I'm talking from brushing my teeth to walking out the door. So I'm gonna post that. I like doing those because I imagine just even how. As I look back at growing up and becoming more of a feminine woman, I've had to learn things like, oh, let me do this when I'm getting ready. Let me do this to make sure that I look good, that I smell good, that I feel good. And I don't believe, and I've seen, and you all have told me, that everyone knows what to do or just feels confident in their steps for getting ready to go somewhere. So I'm showing y'all everything because it's motivating and encouraging and then we can share notes and just make sure that everyone feels like they're on their A game when they have to get up and go somewhere, whether it's going to a party, a wedding, a date night, uh, just going to work, whatever. If you want to really be like, okay, I'm going to really do this thing. You know, my process for getting ready is long and I enjoy it, but yours doesn't have to be that long. Filming that video was hours. It took hours. Yeah, actual hours. But it's exciting. I like to do it. So yeah, let me... I'm gonna make another coffee because I want something warm. I am drinking water, so don't don't be alarmed. And I'm waiting on these cleaners so that I know what they're where they're gonna be, so I know where to be for myself. I got this in from Amazon because when I was trying to film overhead, making some pancakes the other day, my camera kept tilting because the camera is heavy, and you just need, you need to balance. You need to find a way to balance stuff. I'm, and I changed into this because it's just my medium between this and a robe and going to shower. So yeah. I'm going to put this bag of brown rice, which is brown jasmine rice, by the way, from Trader Joe's. If you like jasmine rice, you like brown rice, that's a good alternative, you feel me? Something healthy. Okay, these are bags that are going to hang on the, on the tripod to help balance it, you feel me? If you're doing overhead filming of any kind, then you're going to notice that you need some, any of these bags. So you, I didn't realize that it didn't come with anything on the inside. So you can fill it up with rice or what rocks or sand. I'm just going to use rice. And now I see that it's it has two sides to it. So I don't use this rice. I use another rice that has a low glycemic index, which is great for keto. When I eat it, I do not feel overflowed. Where's the other rice? Okay, I already had some in here. So let's just separate this into two bags. That's the rice that my mom actually eats. 
It's a diabetic rice. And when I eat it, no lie, I do not feel as stuffed and uncomfortable as I would if I were eating regular rice. I'll link it below if you're interested. It is on Amazon. Let's get the air out of it and we're putting it into either side of this bag. It has two zips, which I can understand if you were to just dump some sand in here, but come on, son. Let me just do the outside zip. Girl, okay, I'm not doing that second. Ugh, that's gonna annoy me. It has to be done well. You gotta do things with excellence. Let me not just leave it haphazard. Okay, there we go. There's one side. All right, so here it is, and then here is a good hook. Perfect. All right, so here's my favorite tripod. I have two of these, and I use them all the time. And it can collapse and get really short, or it can get longer. So here we go. And we're gonna make all of these legs long, because I'm gonna show you how I make it go top down to film top down content. And I'm not gonna need the bag right now, but if I were to film over the stove cooking, ah, I would because I had this on the counter. You know what though? You know what though? I think I want to put this on the counter. I actually think that that's what I want to do today. Because, all right, let me just show you. For instance, here's this part, and then, or you don't even have to make this go up so much. You have the option, obviously, right? And this is the part that when it comes out, you can tilt it over and get your top-down content. Obviously, you would change this so that it's however you need it to be. And again, get your top-down content. But the problem is, I wish that this went longer out. If it went longer out, that's where it would be tipping. You feel me? When I had this on the tape on the counter when I was doing the cooking video, it was tipping over. So this is where you would put this. You would put this right here. You put it right here to keep it still, right? Just FYI. Or anywhere you need to. Let's say it's it's tipping and you just want to hang this, let's say, right here. Just some way to make it stay balanced. I want to film some top-down content. I just thought about it, thinking out loud. I want to put it on the actual table. And I am going to need the bag. So when I'm putting it on the actual table, I do need to shorten these legs. So let's do that. All right, so for instance, here we are, and depending on how tall, I can go like this, I don't know, we'll see. If it's too close or too far away, I'll just change it. So here we are. And then the camera being heavy, it's going to make this tip. That's where the bag comes into play. All right, so here's my camera. I use a Canon 90D mostly. I use different cameras. Watch my tech video where you can see all the different devices that I use. This is the 90D and my lens is a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. I have a few different lenses. I use this a lot because it is easier to zoom. Obviously you can zoom in and zoom out. So I use this for full body fashion, reels, YouTube yeah, YouTube videos. I just use lots of different things. It depends on what I'm doing, you feel what I'm saying? So I want to film hors uh, horizontal, horizon, which I think out loud. So I'm going to keep the camera like this. Case in point, I'm going to put the bag on right now because when I put this on before, it was tipping over. All right, so here we are. And just think about it, yeah, okay? So just think about it physics-wise, you have a heavy front load, and then this tripod, which is on, it's on three, three stands, try one, two, three. But it's heavily loading, it's, it's a heavy load on the front, so you need something in the back to balance. This is fantastic. Okay, good. I'm glad I got this. Ah, yes. A key, del and key. So I can film overhead like this. Love it. Oh, this is so good. Hell yeah. And depending on the angle of the camera, I will just have to rotate my footage in post. Because right now, look at it. You've got the bag right here. Because yeah. if I film this way, it will be 
horizontal based on how this is. This could also move, or I could just move this centerpiece and put this right here. Then you have it horizontal. Turn this a little bit. And then I can look at myself right here and make sure that I'm in the frame the way that I want to be. And hook this over here so it's not in the way accidentally. And I always just check right here. And what I love about having a zoom camera is of course you can zoom in and you can zoom out closer and go out more. Obviously it's dark because this is set for over there when I film YouTube videos. So hold on a second. How are you? There's no extra lighting. The lighting is coming from here. So really, I should be sitting over here. Because even if I look at my table, this side is dark, this side is light. So let's put this here. Okay, now I can see the tripod. So let's, oh, let's rearrange. It's going to have light coming from here, but that's okay. All right, now let's change the settings. Spin up the ISO. Let more light into the frame. That's what opening it up means. Oh, good. So I can do my iPad writing here. And of course, it's upside down. And like I said, in post, when I edit, I'll just flip it around. So it'll look like the camera, the tripod was behind me when in fact it's right here in front of me. You are my shield. And I have a remote. But it's not next to me. I'll just turn it on that way. So for instance, I want to bring this into the frame. Ooh, wait, it's crooked. Hold on. Let's bring it into the frame. Placing it down. Ooh. And then I want to bring this into the frame. Placing it down. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, it's giving recording. Hello. I love that. It looks a little dark. I can, I'll lighten that first part out in post, but right now, obviously, or I could just do it again. Let's bring it into the frame. Ready, and, oh, <laughs> and you can actually see the reflection of my camera. <laughs> in the iPad, I'm so like, okay, here, wait, wait, here we go, in frame. We're not gonna put it sound in, so. Doesn't matter. Here we go, look at that. And of course, I'll start doing stuff in a second because I, I do still need to do my reading for today. I haven't done that yet. Oh, hey, pal. What is this? People want to get paid. <laughs> Not my assistant want to get paid. Okay, girl, I see you. <laughs> you got the automatic. You got the automatic bills coming through. Press the water. Hey, pal.